Hi everyone, now I'm going to be tying this fly here. Now this is the wee story behind this fly. I personally haven't fished it. Uh, a friend, a new friend of mine, uh, his, his name's Left, uh, it's an unusual name, uh, but Left uh, basically is a, is a tattooist who lives in uh, an air where I live and uh, basically, watched, he was watching me fly fish in Lockdown and Left decided uh, to go up to Lockdown the following day and he was telling me the story about uh, a fish he had, a good sized fish, uh, a brown trout and he caught it on a dowel back with a tippet tail and a tippet throat. Now I can't remember exactly all the, the dressing uh, so what I've done is I've basically tied it basically with the peacock hero body which I'm sure he did use. As you can see, I put jungle cock in the eye and I put uh, some, this is a dark brown actually. Uh, I'll show you the material. This is from Fully Mill. And uh, I was curious to see what the dark brown looked like uh, on just a fly. So I just put it on the head and it looks, uh, you can see it's tactical microflash dub UV. But actually it, it seems to blend really well. Uh, and I was, I'm going I'm gonna to go be fishing locked in. And I thought, well, I'll tie Left's fly with his dial back, or tie something close to it, and uh, so I'm going to give it a go. And uh, as you can see, it's tied on quite a heavy hook. This is, I'll just show you, basically it's a, I'm going to put this fly in the point, so I'm going to use it to turn the cast over. So I'm using the heavier wire hook in this case, this is the grab gape heavy. There's the champ as well as another one you could use uh, from Fully Mill. But it's a babless hook with this up point, like this turn curl here. Now that hangs on better than a straight point, especially for wild brown trout. Wild brown trout, dead splashy, bounce all over the place, and they throw a babless hook quite quick. So th this style of uh, point just hangs on that wee bit longer, and it gives you a chance to obviously see the fish, uh, or even a chance to land it. And if you're filming, in my case, it makes a chance that it's nice to see the trout you catch. So hopefully we'll land a few in this and I was interested in the dressing and I could see why it worked. It's just a bit of fun and it's a good it's a good idea and Tippet's a great tail fibre for any of the classic or sort of traditional uh, lost style flies. So having a dial back, dive one, I thought it was real good fun. So you could use a dye colour as well. I mean this is a natural uh, golden pheasant tippet. So anyway I'll show you how to tie it. It's very simple. I'm just going to put a using black uni thread 8 oh. just quietly come down. I'm going to come to the point just before it goes around the bend here. Now you could stop it shorter if you want, but I'm keep it, keeping it the full length. So I want some tail fibres, so I just basically what I do is I hold the tips, just come in with the points of the scissors and take out the fibre I need. And this here, I'm looking for a length, around about the body length or so. Tie it onto that black area, the second bar. A couple of turns or so, just to make sure it's not going to move. That's fine. Now I'm actually just using a, a fine copper wire. This is a like a UTC extra small or a small, just to protect the peacock kettle. Now I'm using Veniers. This is just strong dyed black peacock kettle. Uh, it's not the, the best kettle in the world, but it does the job. It's perfect. You want three or four strands, just lining up the tips. Just catch it on. It's a very beetle-like pattern this, and I can I can see it working the tree in the for wild brown trout. As well as the rainbows, it will certainly work. Now stop it round about two to three mil from the eye. Now I'm going to bring the peacock herald towards myself, and then wind up. Get to this point, and then what I want to do is come over it. Because I'm winding towards myself and against the way I wind the thread, you've got to basically come over the peacock curl with a turn and a turn on the hook to lock that in. Do the same again. Now the main reason for doing that is the, the herl is the weakest fibre. The, the rib is going to protect and hold the, the, the peacock. So then we just rib the body, you're looking around about five turns or so, and then catch it in. Nice and tight. Keep hold of the thread and then you can bend and break away. Again, watch your thread. So we're back to the tippet. 
And we basically want to repeat ourselves, we just hold the tips, we're going to put a throat on, the same amount of material, and then just offer that under, now that there, you, you can do the same length as the tail just to balance it. Just all I do is pinch, bring it underneath the hook, pinch the thread, come up, two or three turns, and that's you get your throw it, and you can spread it a wee bit. And then trim away. Now, a question I get asked, you can see I actually put jungle cock on it. Uh, just a split jungle cock eye. Now you can use, uh, if you haven't got jungle cock, you could use flash, use a goose by it. Anything like that will give you the, the impression of the wing buds in this case. Now I've got a jungle cock obviously, but I've got, this is naturally split, you can see there. A nice split right down the middle. It's just a matter of tying it on. You don't want to use two eyes unless it's a very small ones and you want to use them up. So what I'm doing is pulling the fibre back and then just tear it a wee bit further down into the black area. And then we just offer that on the side. Just splitting it so it's on the side of the hook. And then we come over with three or four turns. Now at this point we can then we can move it around. Now I want to see the jungle cock, so I'm actually going to take it a wee bit further up, sorry. Just go back, if you're not happy, just get it to sit the way you want. You can move it around. Just checking where it is. Again, I'm just going to come round a wee bit. Just use my nail here. To get it to sit, that's fine. good and then once you do that you head towards the eye and then fold it back then we come up and then I just I usually just break it off a wee fibre there I'm just going to remove and then as I say I'm going to be using this is the full and mill dubbing I've got lots of really good dubbing uh, I'm not even a Tickled the surface using the, the types they have, they have a lot. Uh, you should go on their website and have a look. Um, I especially like the tactical stuff, which is the, 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 this one here. There is another one I really like. It's the, the Euro Nymph. There's a, the Euro Nymphs are lovely blends. You should look at those two. Plus, I've got obviously a Seals First sub and I've got others. So, anyway, I've got some of my desk. Now, you could mix this into some dubbing if you want, but I'm just going to lightly dub it on. They form a wee head with it. Just, you want it to sort of taper like, so I'm just building it up a wee bit. As I say, this is like a, how could you put it, like a beetle-like pattern. That's why I was interested when he mentioned it on the phone. Uh, Left was saying that, how the fly fish for him, and I went, gee, that sounds interesting. You know what it's like, somebody mentioned something. So I've got to give it a go. Now once I've got the shape of light, then I just a wee bit of varnish on my thread. When you quite finish. And there we are. And there we go. I'm going to call it Left's Dull Bach. Uh, as I say, it's a nice wee pattern. Uh, let's bring that down so you can actually see it. Now I'm just going to probably drop more varnish in here, just to brighten the head up a wee bit. And then it's ready for the box. I mean the two main uh, two main sizes I'm going to tie is obviously this is a, a 10 and a 12 with the two sizes. So the next time I'm locked in, which will be in the next few days, I'll certainly be putting this on my cast. As I say I'll be putting it in the point, though it could go anywhere in the cast. But I'm using the weight the weight of the hook to turn the cast over. If you've got a hook, uh, a fly is Especially one that's got not much dressing on it, so it doesn't it basically doesn't catch the wind as much, but it turns the cast over because of the weight. So anyway, there we are. That's left style back.